Nearly 30,000 engineers, builders and labourers came from far and wide to build His Majesty's factory Gretna in 1915. Production began a year later, employing 20,000 workers. At its peak, towards the end of 1917, the factory employed 19,733 workers. 60% of whom were female. Over 60% were under the age of 18, and 80% were single. His Majesty's factory Gretna produced over 800 tonnes of cordite per week, supplying shell-filling factories throughout the United Kingdom. Without the contribution of female munitions workers, Britain could not have fought the war. Across the UK, industrial injuries and fatalities in the munitions factories were common. Over 200 were killed. Then there were the explosions in the munitions factories. There were a number of incidents recorded at HM Factory Gretna. A number lost their lives at Gretna. A number of Gretna women workers were publicly honoured for their bravery in averting loss of life. However, due to the work, mixing and handling toxic chemicals and inhaling poisonous fumes, it is certain that many women suffered after leaving the factory. Some died young. When the war is over and you go away from here, will you, May, darling, be a bit sorry to part from me? For though you did not come with me, perhaps you will give me a thought. When you think of the times in Gretna and the many hearts you broke, do you think it's true what they're saying? What? That this will all be over soon. They said that four years ago. Will you write something about autographs, did Of course. To remember us Timbertown girls? Please. In Gretna once, a little squad of workers strolled down old Gretna Way and were struck by the beauty of a spot not far away. And when they look upon it, there it looks so sweet and fair they said, let's make munitions works on that green patch over there. Then they dotted it with hostels, shops, and built a border hall. Introduced some lovely girls who answered the nation's call. Then they dotted it with matrons and women police all around. And when they had it finished, sure, they called it Gretna Town. <coughs> Eleven o'clock this morning came to an end the cruelest and most terrible war that has ever scourged mankind. I hope we may say that thus this faithful morning came to an end all wars. Extra, extra, whole country celebrating. Terms of armistice announced today which strips Germany of all conquered territory and restoration of devastated lands, naval units surrender and army demobilized. Hooray! Do you think our grandchildren will be puzzled? Do you think they'll know what really happens here? Maybe, but at least we'll know that we did our bit for the war that ended all wars.